Tommy, it seems our problems aren't over. The prosecutor who nearly got Frank against us is digging up more dirt, and I've heard he even has witnesses. It looks like that counselor whose son you shot is sorely craving revenge. The prosecutor is a good friend of his, and if we don't nip it in the bud, they'll make big problems for us. That doesn't sound too good. What's even worse is that guy doesn't trust anyone. He has all the evidence against us in a safe at his villa. Sam and Paulie are taking care of the witnesses right now as we speak. And you've got to get that evidence, Tom. How will we get to it? Well, today we have an excellent opportunity. Mr. Prosecutor has decided to go to the theater, and nobody else will be home. That is, nobody apart from the home security, of course. But his study will be empty. His villa is in the millionaire's quarter. Mr. Prosecutor isn't exactly a poor boy. Thanks, Luigi. Your only concern is how to get in. But there'll be guards around the villa. Once inside, you should be fine. The villa will be empty. The prosecutor's office is on the first floor, and there should be a safe in the wall. For that, you'll have Salvatore with you. That's a guy who manages to open every safe in America. Once you've got all the evidence, leave before the prosecutor arrives back home. Okay, boss. Where can I find this Salvatore? He'll be waiting for you down in Hoboken on the corner next to the stadium. So you can pick him up on the way there. I don't have to tell you how important this job is to us, Tommy. Buona fortuna. I'll do my best, boss. And Tommy, if you happen to bump into the prosecutor, don't kill him, no matter what. It'll just bring us more problems. You can depend on it, boss. You don't even know how much I miss Frank, Tom. Even if he sold us out, he was always good to talk to. That business with Frank has really gotten Don Salieri shaken. He's probably feeling guilty, but I don't think he's got any reason to. He had to do it. It's better to die honorably than to betray the family and live like an outcast. Good evening, Vincenzo. Tonight I'm doing a little burglary, so I need something for a quiet little job. Tommy, a good old bat would do the trick. When you hit someone over the head from behind, they should be out cold for a while. To be on the safe side, take this here Colt 1911 too. I'll keep my fingers crossed, Tommy. Thanks, Vincenzo. Evening, Chief. Let's get moving. Great. So where are we going? So, you can open any safe in the country, right? Almost every one, Chief. And how did you learn that trick? My grandpa was in a business. It's inherited. The safes keep getting better, so a fella has to keep up with the times. Some of the safes around these days are pretty tricky. Okay, we're here.
Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. Quiet and do exactly what I tell you. Brother, yesterday some patty knocked into me in the bar. A real typical son of a bitch. And I say to him, hey pal, what are you trying to pull? And the bastard spits in my mug. What'd you do to him? Yeah, knocked him down. I'll tell you, you won't forget that in a hurry. And what did he do? He came right back at me, man. He nearly had me, the bastard. But my boys were there and they knocked his teeth out. He got what he deserved. He can't let those punks get in your way. Sure, but then his friends showed up and busted up the whole joint. Son of a bitch. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. Hello, darling. Did you have a good day today? So show me what you can do, Salvatore. Okay, Chief. It looks like we better get out fast, Salvatore. Got it, Chief. Piece of cake. Everything's fine, boss. Salvatore, open the car. I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief.
stays where I live. Thanks a lot. I hope it'll be a little cooler next time. Today I almost crapped in my pants. I hope so too. Get some shut eye. Late heart seems dark. Silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me you sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one.